Good morning everyone. How's everyone doing this morning? We're back around to another Tuesday, another session of distant healing and this morning I'm up here sitting on top of a crag. I'm about a 10 minute drive away from my house and I've hiked up early this morning from down the bottom there. I'm not sure if you can see the river in the distance but I've hiked up from down there early this morning and it's just so beautiful and still up here and the sun's just beginning to break through and I've just been slowly taken in the morning doing a nice meditation, connecting, grounding and asking for guidance on, on what should come through in today's healing for everyone. I brought my singing bowls up with me as well. And it's just been really nice just to sit here and play them and just really open my energy field and just set a good benchmark for the rest of my day. I mean, how can your day not be beautiful when you make the effort to start it like this? So the first thing that's been coming up for, for the healing is the fact that tomorrow is a really special day. Tomorrow is 11.11, which is a highly charged, a highly powerful energetic portal. It's a doorway, it's a gateway into the higher realms. You could almost describe it as a bridge. And so today I feel as though I'd really like to open everybody's energy to, to lift people's vibration, to do some sort of power power up session, just an energy recharge to really flood you all with light, um, clear through all of the chakras, purify your energy, to lift your vibration higher, activate all cells, activate all molecules within your body, pulling in energetics from, from the elements, you know, earth, air, fire, water, also from the, the four directions, north, south, east and west, and also above and below. So I'm going to be pulling in some angelic frequencies as well. We have six archangels that guard our spiritual gateways, if you like, as we exist here on the physical realm. And they are archangel in the east. He's the archangel of air, the archangel of healing. We have, uh, sorry, that was Archangel Raphael. I'm not sure if I said his name. Archangel Raphael, the angel of the east, um, the angel of healing and the archangel of, of air. And in the south, we have Archangel Michael. He is the archangel of fire, of protection. He shields and guards our energy. In the west, we have Archangel Gabriel, the archangel of divine wisdom, messages from spirit, our intuition, our guidance. And in the north, Archangel Uriel, which represents the archangel of earth, of grounding, of being deeply connected. And again, more wisdom and clarity and truth of who we are. Above we have Archangel Metatron who brings in energies from the higher realms, in particular he holds the five dimensional uh, consciousness grid and also beneath us Archangel Sandalphon who guards the, the sacred earth grid, the grid of fire that exists um, beneath the earth's crust. So these are the energies that I'll be pulling in today and really activating your cells, really powering up and charging up your energy to take you and lift you into the highest vibration possible in preparation for tomorrow's 11-11 gateway. And tomorrow is a really good day to set an intention of something that you want to create and bring in for yourself. It really is a powerful day to say to the universe, I surrender to the wisdom of my heart. I trust in the knowledge of my soul and I step now through this gateway to create etc 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 add in whatever it is that you want to create 11 11 is such a powerful number 11 is a master number and it's seen as an energetic gateway the two ones standing together act as pillars of light that we can move our consciousness through that we can lift our vibration higher and ascend and travel through in order to access those higher parts of ourself um, the one represents individual power you know the strength and power that we hold in standing in our own in our own knowledge and wisdom but also when when we, when we create the number 11, the one and one together combine to make a two, which is all about unity and connectivity and the connection that we share with each other. We are all traveling this earth on individual spiritual journeys, but when we 
when we connect with each other, real magic happens and we are all part of that sacred that sacred web of life, you know, and what happens to one thread happens to all. We are deeply, deeply connected, even though we are traveling individually through this earth on this journey of awakening. And all I'd really like to do with the healing today is to really lift your vibration as high as possible, plug you back into source and bring some high angelic frequencies in, bring in some elemental energy and just really lift your vibration higher clear your energy field through and get you into a, a position of feeling empowered, lifted, elevated and ready to move forward in positive waves, ways in your life tomorrow for the 11-11 portal. So I hope that all makes sense to you. It's so, so beautiful now. The sun's starting to break through and it's really catching the mist. I think I'll probably do the healing from up here. I'm feeling as though I need to be elevated. The energy is all about elevation today. It really is elevation, activation and feeling empowered. And that is really what I'm going to be focusing on today for each and every one of you, bringing in that light, bringing in that energy from source, lifting your vibration higher so that you can move with absolute conviction and wisdom through the 1111 portal tomorrow. So lots of love everybody. I am sending you a massive hug from this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful little spot that I've found and I'll see you all at 11 o'clock. And remember, if you're busy at that time, don't worry. You can tune into the energy stream at any point today up until midnight tonight. It's available out there. It's sort of just hanging out there in the ether for you to call in whenever you feel ready and whenever you have enough time to connect in with it properly um, without feeling rushed or distracted. So lots of love to you all. I hope this video finds you well. And I'll see you all at 11 o'clock. So much love to you. Mwah.